Okay, I'm coming with the survival tip this time. Let's say uh, I'm a new character. I just spawned in. What should I do? Well, let's say you're a new character. You don't have equipment, and like, let's say you have a backpack or two. You have some storage space, and you've survived, like, let's say your first 24 hours. Surprisingly, surviving the first 24 hours without being half dead and not starving or dehydrated is a little bit difficult unless your character is a little bit hype. Of course, really, my character does not get skills off the start. I just have uh, 14, 14, 14, 14, which is actually really good. And I get uh, a lot of positive perks. I don't get I don't give myself a lot of skills at the start. So it, even for to be honest, even for a noob like me, it still can be pretty difficult. So oh um okay. So let's say I'm looting. I haven't checked this house out. So I like to look at all the containers. I like to look at stuff. I know what most of this stuff is just by the items. A boost. I can work this. I have secret on. So, like right here, I found uh, something better to wear. So I picked it up. I put it on. I would drop my sneakers if I'm not don't already have a base. So, what I like to do when I start a new character or whenever I play from the beginning again, I do one of two things. I mostly find a house and make a base there. I immediately pick a house so I can start there. I get all the equipment in the house. I get I equip myself as best as I possibly can and then look, go through other houses looking for other objects that I need. Storage, food, water, weapons. Houses are a really good mixture of everything. Some of them have basements which may have guns, which may have medical equipment and they're just a good source for early game characters even through the mid and late game these houses can have a lot of valuable items in them. I do recommend them when I get to the mid game and late game and I'm dealing with guns and I have cars I generally will run through a house pick up the food and water and look for other useful items I mainly skip everything on the floor that looks useless any question marks, any kind of parentheses, semicolons, I usually skip. But equal, like uh, the equal sign, are generally ammo and consumable objects like batteries and thread. Uh, red exclamation marks are first aid kits. White ones are generally bandages, but they could be aspirin, it could be cocaine, they could be a number of other options. But question marks are generally medical items. So you should look at those. Like here, if I wasn't, like, if I was playing normally, I wouldn't even look through this stuff really. But there's, oh, fun. There's a number of things I would leave. Like a flashlight, that's really good if you're starting. Food and water are important. Take what you need and leave the rest. Right here, there's, okay, joints are also considered under the drug category. E ink tablets. Are really are actually pretty decent. I haven't really found too much use of them, but I haven't used them much either. But I do have my uh, items set high because I like to find worthless items and just mess around with them, see what I can do. Like this is where I like to go because like antibiotics, codeine, uh, trauma doll. That's a that's painkiller. Yeah. See, like, stuff like that is really valuable. If you're playing on lower loot spawns, you won't find as much. But if you're playing on even higher than I am, which you're either, like, in a test world or you're learning the ropes, or just getting better at the game, then you'll have it set higher. The general players that are better than me at the game are not going to have their loot spawns set high. Like down here, okay, there's a zombie here too. I can actually show you some throwing skills. So, 
but I don't have a flash. This would be a good time to get that flashlight in the kitchen. The zombie, oh, it's just a zombie. Apparently, I don't have a flashlight. In here. I just not the rainbow. I won't be able to get my throwing knives back. So, I'm actually going to throw a hatchet. I'm going to put 32 damage. That took a full health zombie to moderately injured. And if I throw the wood axe, 48. That killed it. So you see high, as I said in the combat test video, the berserker style of throwing is super powerful. I just have to commit more inventory and weight to these items. But you technically could look through these basements without flashlight. It just makes it a lot quicker because I can just, oh, here's actually a good one. This is actually a good place to be. So I'll explain what the, what this is. This is kind of like the quote unquote bomb shelter. That's what I like to refer to. The back is the bath. Few back ones are usually food, water, and medical equipment. Uh, protein powder. That's good. Like here's food. This is good. More food. You can typically find a lot of food. It's actually a good place to get tin, uh, tin food and uh, non-perishables. You know, I can use for lamp oil later. But you can also find guns here. This is actually a good place to find some decent weapons. Like the the four four sixteen A five or the AR. Damn, I actually got lucky with this. The U a USP low six hundred. Yeah, I. Very cool set. Oh yeah. So I'm actually gonna have to come back to this later. But you you get the idea, like. Uh, some equipment here. Now, I actually will give tips on flares and glow sticks later on to why you should pick them up. But that's going to be an eluding tip. Make sure you cut your flashlight off when you leave. If you want to like get down to the bare, the max efficiency, you turn the flashlight off, look at your surroundings, turn it back, uh, turn it on, look at your surroundings, turn it off. It only consumes one charge, and you can just see everything in your current area that it illuminates. And if you're a little bit more experienced than I am, you can walk in, you see like maybe what the ground looks like, or the first object you see, and you can immediately know where you are. There is the prepper, which you'll know when you find the prepper. The prepper will have guns. Ammo, melee weapons, equipment. This is like the a treasure. You want to find this once you have a base. Because there are so many guns, there's so much ammo, there's so much equipment down there. You need a base. You can't carry all of this by yourself. Even with the max storage, two rucksacks, two mole packs, two leather backpacks. Like, like with max storage, you probably still can't carry all this equipment. I mean, you probably actually have about 500 to 1,000 or so, about five or six hundred maybe, I may be getting a little jealous for that thousand, but even with max storage, it's not good to carry all of this equipment. But, a uh, short rundown of the rooms, here we have an office room, you can typically find uh, alcohol in here and various equipment. The bedroom, you can typically find clothes and uh, other little gadgets. The bathroom is typically where you'll find the drugs. This is a great place to check no matter what stage you are in the game. You can find first aid kits, bandages, and so on. You have the kitchen where the food and the water is. You may have a living room. I consider this the living room in my opinion, but it can vary between each room. This is uh, this is kind of like a uh, off room. It's nothing important. But I hope this looting help you. By the way, if you can't open the door and you don't want to beat it down, break a window with S, smash it, and smash it again. And it will break the glass so you don't cut yourself and lose damage or rip clothing. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.